origin of the species. This segment of the tutorial will focus on the theory of the origin of the species. Evolution and speciation. Species origin. Phylogenetic tree. Speciation and origin. A species is a taxonomic group whose members can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. Speciation is the evolutionary process giving rise to a new species. There are four modes of natural selection that give rise to a new species and involves geographic isolation. These include allopatric, peripatric, parapatric, and sympatric. New species may also be produced by genetic engineering and animal husbandry. Kinds of geographic speciation Allopatric speciation a population is split into two geographically isolated ones. The isolated populations then undergo genotypic divergence. Parapatric speciation. The geographic zones of the two diverging populations are separate but do overlap. Individuals of each species may come in contact or mate, but the fitness of the heterozygote is reduced, so selected against. Peripatric speciation. A new species is formed in small, isolated peripheral populations, which are prevented from exchanging genes with the main population. Sympatric speciation. Species diverge while inhabiting the same place. For instance, insects which become dependent on different host plants in the same area. Phylogenetic tree of life. A phylogenetic tree is a branching graph that shows the evolutionary relationships between species and shows the common ancestor. Each node represents the most recent common ancestor of the descendants. The lengths of the branches are time estimates. Look at this phylogenetic tree. Notice the domains bacteria. Archaea and Eukaryota. Phylogenetic tree. Speciation events are shown in this phylogenetic tree. The relationship between ancestor and descendant is based on the number of shared characteristics between them. Old world monkeys, prosimians, New World Monkeys. The New World Monkeys gave rise to the gibbons, the orangutans, and gorillas. The gorillas gave rise to the chimpanzees and humans. Darwin's theory. This segment of the tutorial will focus on the theories of Darwin, including reproduction, genetic variation, and Darwin's hypothesis. Reproduction effects on evolution. Sir Darwin, can you tell me about your observations that led you to the theory of evolution? First, I observed that reproducing organisms will produce more offspring than the environment can support if all offspring survive to reproduce. This is the struggle for existence. Darwin and Genetic Variation Sir Darwin, 
How does genetics impact your theory? I observed that for any given population of individuals, there's a range of heritable characteristics. Survival and inherited traits. How does an organism's traits affect a species? Survival depends on an organism's inherited traits. If a trait or set of traits enables an organism to survive and reproduce, that species will survive. See these birds? Ability to fly high and hunt will be helped by big wings in some environments. In other environments, like dense forests, small wings will have the advantage. Darwin's Hypothesis The hypothesis states that the attributes leading to a better fit in an environment leads to a greater chance of survival and leaving behind viable offspring. Disproportionate reproductive success within population members gradually leads to a change in traits of that particular population. Support for Darwin's Hypothesis How can you test your theory? The theory is tested by looking into the fossil record and studying taxonomy. By comparing embryological and anatomical information, similarities and ancestries can be discovered. Today, with modern molecular biology techniques, it is possible to determine evolution on the basis of genetics. Fossils and Evolution Support Fossils are ancient impressions left by biological forms in sedimentary rock. These impressions often reveal the skeletal framework of an extinct species. Fossil records. Younger fossils have species with traits common to older fossils plus some additional traits or similar traits reorganized. The oldest fossils record the oldest species living. Fossil record indicates that there are shared traits between ancestors and descendants. This supports Darwin's theory. Jurassic clams, Cretaceous ammonite, Cretaceous ithosaur, Miocene beaver skull, Pleistocene saber tooth cat, and Pleistocene mammoth. Taxonomy, Science of Classification Taxonomy is the science of classification. It is a hierarchical grouping of organisms with descending categories having more specific characteristics. Organization is based on similarity of traits. Taxonomic groupings the taxonomic groupings support Darwin's theory that all species within a group can be shown to be related to one another. Taxonomic groupings are by shared traits among different species leading to evolutionary relatedness. 
flowers having similar traits would be grouped together. Comparative Taxonomy Comparative Anatomy and Embryology These lines of evidence involves making comparisons of various structures and determining the degree of similarity among them. For examples, flipper, wings, paws, hands. All have similar bone structures despite overall external differences. Remember, descent with modification. Genetics and Darwin's Theory Genetic evolution refers to the change in the frequency of a gene or alleles in a population. Mechanisms of genetic evolution include natural selection, mutation, random genetic drift, and gene flow. Natural selection is the best explanation for genetic evolution. Once gene frequencies change and adaptation due to natural selection occurs, advantageous genes will be selected again and again because of directional selection. Evidence Summary Types of Evidence Does the evidence corroborate Darwin's theory? Fossil records. Yes. Taxonomic groups. Yes. Independent traits. Yes. Genetics. Yes.